And that's why I proved, basically, that the blood glucose was fluctuating and my ketones were 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 3, 4. You know, and it was very variable. Sorry, Vas, yes, a party poop, but no more cake. Um, and it's, it's, it's really interesting because that's actually how I tweaked that there was a problem with the HbA1c was with lots and lots of clients because obviously being a specialist practitioner in obesity and diabetes, I get a lot of people that are diabetic and they have CGMs or they have finger, um, finger stick tests or capillary testing as we call it. So, and they would say, this doesn't make any sense. My CGM is saying that my average is great or my finger pricking is showing that my average glucose is great, but my HbA1c started to go up and that's how we would, we realized there must be something going on because nothing beats your CGM or your blood. And then also with, so we're getting a full panel, getting fasting glucose, fasting insulin, C peptide, which is a good proxy marker of how much insulin you're making. It didn't make any sense because all those are all really good. Um, yes, you get low, lower levels of insulin. The normative ranges just don't matter when you're eating, especially with carnivore where you're very low carbohydrate or you're keto because those Insulin ranges are based on people eating 45 to 65% carbohydrates. So this ridiculous phrase of insulin suppression is, is, is just basically um, fiction, uh, complete fiction, because it only matters if you look at the normal, normative ranges and think, well, I'm a bit out of range there, or I haven't got enough insulin, but of course you have, because then you look at clinical presentation, you look at the person, and say, well, really, are you suffering from low levels of insulin? And, of course, nobody ever is. And I think, you know, I always use Sean Baker as an example because he's, he's got low testosterone and apparently low, low, you see, uh, an emotive term there. But, you know, he's a monster, breaking world records, lots of muscle. So he hasn't got low testosterone. He's got appropriate testosterone for what, he, what his activity is, his history, everything. So um, that would be the thing I would say is to make sure that you look at things like your average blood glucose actually from your blood, either finger sticks or a CGM. And then when you get a full panel, make sure that you get C-peptide, fasted insulin, fasted glucose, 